What is demography? Demography is the study of population. Demographers don't care about one person, or one family, or even about a whole town of people, at least not taken out of context. Demographers care about the big picture, about the ebb and flow of the size and composition of our world, nations, or local areas population. There are three things that people do in their lives that shape a population. They get born and they have babies, or not. They move around, or not. And they die, no matter what. So demography is the study of these personal activities, but at a macro level, and with particular attention to how they interact. In and of itself, that's pretty dry. Fertility, mortality, and migration affect population composition, size, and distribution and vice versa. Social and biological factors affect population processes and composition and vice versa. In fact, population processes and the size, distribution, and composition of a population are affected by or affect so many other parts of the social and natural world that there's something fun to study for anyone. Interested in economic development, interested in natural resource depletion, interested in women's rights, interested in generational conflict. The list goes on and on. Some social scientists make a distinction between demography as the study of the formal population processes and co outcomes and population studies, which also include the factors affecting or affected by population processes. I don't really make a distinction and tend to use the terms interchangeably. In this course, after an overview of population in general, we'll be focusing on fertility, population change, and policy that's aimed at influencing fertility and population change. Regardless of your own academic or career interests, if you're studying anything that concerns people, learning a bit more about population studies will be beneficial.